In a previous video, we discussed the primitive data types that are built into Java. For example, here we have a statement int x equals 5. We talked about the fact that x is a variable, but what does that mean exactly? We can think of a variable as a box. Here a box is shown in blue, and its label or address is x, the name of the variable. Inside the box we can store a value, in this case 5. Now let's look at some operations we can do with these variables and their boxes. Consider these two lines of code, int x equals 5 followed by x equals 14. Notice that the declaration int only is needed for the first line of code because once we define x, the compiler knows that it's going to hold integers for the rest of its life. In fact, if we try to redeclare the variable again on the second line, we're going to get a compiler error. So when we first declare and define the variable x, it creates a box and it puts the number 5 in. On the next line, when we replace the value inside the box with 14, the number 5 is taken out of the box and the number 14 is put into the box. Notice now that the box contains 14. The 5 has been lost because it has not been saved in another variable. Let's look at a slightly more complicated example now with two variables and their respective boxes. Here we have two variables x and y with x being initialized to the value of 5 and y being initialized to a value of 7. In the third line of code we set x equal to y. Because in assignment statements in Java the direction of flow is from right to left, what we're going to do is we're going to take the 7 which is in the y box and put it into this x box. The 5 once again is going to be lost. Notice that we have copied the 7 that was in the Y box and put it into the X box. The Y box retains its original value. This would probably be a good time to discuss the difference between assignment statements and Boolean expressions in Java. On the left you see an assignment statement Y equals 7. What this does is it takes the box that's labeled Y and puts a 7 in it. This is an assignment statement because the number 7 is being assigned to the box labeled Y. In an assignment statement in Java, the flow of information goes from right to left. In this case, the 7 is being put into the box. On the right, we see another example, this time with two equal signs, of what is known as a Boolean expression. I have highlighted the Boolean expression here inside the if statement. Compared to an assignment statement, which causes a command or a directive to be carried out, a Boolean expression asks a question. Is it true that y is equal to 7? And if it is, we're going to execute the code labeled inside the if block. If y has got some other value besides 7, this block of code here will not be executed. Notice that when we use the single operator equals, it's an assignment, and when we use the double equals operator, it's a Boolean expression or a question. Thank you.